Good morning, fellas. <clears throat> I got her all back together yesterday. Didn't get to the motor mounts. I'm going to do that today. I worked on it till dark. Pulling this stuff in and out, in and out, trying to get it to work the way I wanted it to. The fan worked. You can't see from the front because of my winch blocking the grill. But I had to cut out this one section to get the fan to clear and then it went right in i think i'm gonna go behind this to take this because i got to take it all back out again because the in and out yesterday ended up breaking one of my mounts but i think on this one i took and um drilled it out and put another bolt in it i'm gonna have to take and look take a look at it and see but that pulled out on me <clears throat> it all worked it's all sealed up it's kind of tight right here yeah don't look at this because that's how i had to do it my bolts have been gone forever in there but i had to space it a little bit because this was pushing up against it so tight it was going to want to break the shroud so this may be temporary for now i don't know i may leave it that way but it's in there it's tight it's not easy on a scale of one to ten i'd say it'd be an eight of getting it in there and getting it um it, it's kind of a we don't have much room in these things you can see how close everything is so with that rubber on there i literally had to take the core support back out and get them in there get them pinned in the bottom and then put this back in loose and then pull it up to tight and stuff all the rubber in there and just get it keep messing with it and get it all bolted down and then put the core support back in the center part let me get my stand you put 40s on your jeep you got to have one of these to work on it unless you take the tires off <clears throat> the center piece where i wrapped it i ended up having to take i left the rubber all the way around this side of this child ended up having to take it off of this one where it goes straight down through because there just ain't enough room to fit that in there so you take that one off and you could leave this side open to where the fan sucks on this side but i just wanted to seal it up but i had to take the one off of this side pull the rubber off and then it would slip in there and work but it is sealed up let's see if you can see down in there it's, it's, it's very early this morning but you can't see no light around it. Let's look under the bottom. I didn't put the filter on either. I talked about yesterday. It's still it's in the shop. I lost one of the fittings to it, so I couldn't do it. I wasn't going to the parts store because y'all know if you go to the parts store, that's pretty much the end of your working that day. But I'm still gonna put it on there. It's just gonna be down in here. <clears throat> I got rid of some. You know, the factory pieces here for the transmission. I had it all cobbled up. I don't know how I didn't never have a leak, but I ended up cutting it and, and putting it right here for the transmission because there's a mount right there that holds it and just ran a few feet up into there for that. It's all pinned in, sealed up, and it. I drove it yesterday last night anyway which was about 71 degrees and it stayed right at 190 the whole time usually this thing going down the highway at like 60 65 mile an hour it, the rpms are pretty high and it wants to start creeping with the air conditioner on but it didn't do that yesterday it worked so <clears throat> with that extra fan on the transmission cooler blowing through too I guess that helps some, but a lot of it was closing that radiator in. It's a cheap, it's a cheap way to get more capacity out of it because I sealed the radiator up with the aluminum. Then these sheets of aluminum are expensive, but you ain't got to buy a whole sheet to do that. It didn't take, but it took probably that much off the end of it to build it all, all that right there. And I still got to close in some of this here too. Because you see them holes down in there where you can see the ground? 
that's where that mud's kicking up from the tires when you're turning and you're backing up with it on the floor it's just bowling that stuff up in there but it took it two or a couple of years to get to where it was running hot again so it just started happening again on me um last trip out it was pretty hot we're running the ac <clears throat> and i'm sure my ac is 1998 model <laughs> so all that probably needs to be changed i'm going to probably do it here pretty soon because that's probably contributing to it getting hot too because that stuff gets all wore out and it's working hard it's making the condenser get real hot that condenser gets hot when you run the ac and it makes it draw in hot air <clears throat> so that would probably help if i did that too but that was a good little trick sealing them things up if anybody wants to try it i'll send you a link on amazon to the to the um, part that rubber stuff that i put on there but um it's pretty it worked pretty good it sounds like uh it sounds like i got a bunch of fan on it now if you listen to it would have just switched on i got it all wired up to a relay This side over here is ridiculous with it running. <clears throat> Anywho, I'm gonna do the motor mounts today. Take all this out. And I'm gonna start working on um but after after that trail ride the 30th of january i'm gonna start working on doing the turbo on it first thing i want to do is i want to try to get the temp down even lower on this thing i want it to be two tens hot when you're trying to boost something especially in the woods i mean it's going to want to detonate and stuff i think from the heat of this sucker so i got other ideas it's kind of crazy but i know it would work i was thinking about if if it uh when we get the turbo on there and it's making a little bit more power it wants to get hot in the woods i'm going to take i'm thinking about taking and building a plate right here you know how they relocate the radiators on atvs i want to do that to betty if it's still this summer starts getting hot on me again i'm tired of it i'm tired of trying to make this work and i don't want to put i thought about putting a radiator in the back and all that stuff but that's just stuff to get ripped off in the woods i was thinking about getting one of those relocate kits or building one for the atv radiator and then pull this fan back off and put it on the bottom blowing out and mount it right in here it may look ridiculous but i know if i do that the sucker will not run hot because really all you gotta do with these things is run the heater and it'll cool it off so you don't need but a little bit more capacity and i got to do something with all of this wiring <clears throat> the battery i'm gonna move to the back or either run off my two six volts in the back because turbo is gonna have to go here this got to be moved that's got to be moved that's got to be moved get all this stuff cleaned up because this is from years of let's go let's go trail riding this weekend and just putting you know making stuff work but it's worked it's all wired up right it just don't look right and i bought these headlights too i don't know if i said anything about them these come from amazon they're 30 something dollars they plug in the back just like the regular headlight they got cooling fins on the back of it it's got daytime running lights here and then they're way better than the stock ones <clears throat> we don't want to make an update video this morning and tell y'all how this went it was a pain in the butt to get it in there and but i think it'll be worth it it seems to do way better um i'm gonna pull the 190 back out of it and i'm gonna go get a 160 or a 180 and put in it and see if it'll run at 180 because it's definitely staying at 190 now i know that the 190 slows the fluid down and makes it stay at 190 but i want to see if i can get it to run at 180 that's what i've always wanted it to run at is 180 just because of the, the damn heat the biggest problem with the turbo is going to be keeping this cool because this sucker gets so hot 
So when we start doing all that, this is coming off and we're going to coat it with something or wrap it or something to keep the heat out of the intake manifold where it's not blowing hot air into it. It don't matter if you got an intercooler or not on it. If it's blowing, if it's, this is 200 degrees, you're still going to get hot air in there. <clears throat> I could wrap the headers, but in my experience, if you wrap a header with that wrap stuff they got, it will not last it'll eat it up because it, it, it superheats the metal and it just turns it to nothing quick so I'd rather insulate the stuff around it and just leave that alone that way it lasts but uh anyway I'm getting it ready for the January January 30th trail ride where we can go have some fun and I've been working on this thing pretty good bit lately. I haven't worked on it this much in a while. I haven't made any videos really because I don't know, ain't really anything I could make a video on. I still got to do the motor mounts. Gonna do that today. I'll show y'all what they look like. I'm not gonna try to make a video while I'm doing it. Y'all know how to put motor mounts in. <clears throat> We're gonna put the day stars in it where it's more rigid. That'll give it a little bit more torque too. And I gotta do that. And that's about it. I'm gonna. I found a stereo that I want to put in here. Well, I didn't find it. I found it on Bleeping Jeep. If y'all, if y'all, uh, I know y'all watch Bleeping Jeep. Y'all need to go look at that. I think it says it's the perfect XJ radio. It's an Android. It goes right here. And the reason I want it is you could put the uh, adapter into the OB2 port if you got a 90, 98 or 96 and above. I think. You could put it at that plug-in into the OB2 port and all your gauges will come up on the screen. You've got an app you can download and it's got boost and it's got coolant temp and all that stuff that your computer's reading. You can see gauges on your dash display. I think that's cool. Plus, I need a radio on this thing because that one is no good. It's stuck in demo mode and I've took it out of demo mode like 10 times. It still goes back. I got the switch changed for the overdrive that's working again um i got a bunch of little stuff done like my steering wheel goes straight now stuff that we all want to do we don't take time to do it when you just got a trail jeep and you ain't driving it every day but i got the steering wheel straight got everything everything under it set <clears throat> but uh need to put some grease and oil in there or something that's squeaking that's about it the fan situation worked out good it was an all-day job finishing up that metal work and stuff but but it was worth it i think now that fan's pulling all the air it can pull through there and it don't have any air gaps when you got air gaps around it it's pulling hot air back through it you know and it's not really doing nothing same thing in the front that hot air gets in front of it and it pulls it back through the radiator so if you could seal it all off you know it's for the better and it didn't take very long to build the little shrouds anyway i'm gonna get busy y'all take it easy i'll holler at y'all show y'all um this evening when i get this done i'll post another video as they upload because it's kind of slow uploading them y'all have a good one i'm gonna get to work